This is the video for the metabolomics test by Genova. We're gonna break it down into a few pieces here. Essentially, pull out all your materials as soon as you get home, open the box up and you'll notice inside the box is a freezer brick. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually take this container, the box and everything and put it in your freezer and then that way it's ready to accept the samples when you have them prepared. Now there's three different sections to this test. There's the urine sample, there's the cheek swab, and potentially also a finger prick fatty acid profile. So we'll do each of those separately. But first we need to register the test kit. So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, point your phone, smartphone at the QR code. It's gonna take you to an online portal and there you're gonna register and activate this test kit. On this card is also little sticky notes with the QR codes that you're gonna to have to put your date and uh, date of birth and the uh, date of collection and they peel off and they're gonna stick, you're gonna basically put one on every test tube that you're gonna be sending in. So remember to do that, remember to keep that, put that card back in there after you activate it and then put one of those little sticky things on each of the test tubes uh, as well inside the box itself is a FedEx packing bag okay so we've got this bag here and on the outside we've got this one here with this purple edge to it now you're gonna have to you can read the instructions but essentially pull out the paperwork fill out the areas that are highlighted which is basically your return address your name a signature and date and you're going to peel the back off here and stick it to the back side of the FedEx uh, envelope to get into this you just peel this back the purple part back take the forms out and it is resealable so you just put the forms back in and then stick it onto the envelope there there is also this uh, extendable bill stamp so you're going to have to peel that off uh, again and uh, and put that on the outside of the, uh, the envelope itself so let's start with the urine one basically uh, there is a cup in a bag here there's a couple cups you're going to collect your urine first thing in the morning. Um, so urinate and then you're going to use a pipette to transfer fluid into the collection test tubes. So you're gonna squeeze the end, stick it in the urine, it'll suck up a certain volume and basically you're gonna transfer into the vials, uh, into the test tubes and fill them with the urine. So after you've filled up all of the test tubes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them back in this bag, and then you're gonna put them in the freezer pack or in freezer for at least 24 hours uh, prior to shipping. It can stay in longer, but at least to be uh, 24 hours till it's frozen solid. So now there is a cheek swab component. Um, what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna tear this package open. You're gonna rub this very long cotton tipped uh, stick here on the inside of your cheek quite vigorously for about 30 seconds or so rotate it a number of times try to avoid excessively salivating and uh, you're going to do that with the second swab as well so you can do uh, you can do both of them you need it to air dry for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you're going to place those two swabs in this envelope and you're going to peel and stick and seal that Okay, and that is also gonna go back in the shipping container. If you are doing a fatty acid test to see whether or not you have adequate kind of healthy omega-3 fats or too much trans fats or whatnot in your diet, uh, this test is going to help determine that. So how do we do this test itself? It's actually pretty easy. Again, there's this little paper card you wanna keep out. Uh, keep it in the bag. Make sure you fill out your name and date on the actual card and there's instructions on here. And what you wanna do, these are a single use finger poke device. You just pull it off. Um, I usually squeeze the end of my finger nice and tight and then kind of go in on a, just a halfway between kind of where the nail ends and the point of your finger. So kind of in that halfway mark there when you press there. And then basically all you do is squeeze the tip of your finger or get a partner or someone to help you uh, without touching the paper, dropping the blood so that it covers the entire circle. But you don't wanna do like 15 tiny little drops where you're touching the paper and it looks like machine gun fire of blood. You actually want these big fat drops of blood kind of dropping to the paper. So do your best to take your time with that. And, um, and then you just let it air dry. And again, it doesn't take that long, but usually we say, you know, about 24 hours. So just leave it on the counter somewhere and then you're going to put it back into this container 
that has a handy band-aid in it and some finger wipes that you're going to use to wipe your finger before doing the blood spot test. You put it back in this Ziploc bag that has this desiccant and that prevents these spots from becoming humidified again. So you're going to put that in there and pack it up and put it in the test kit. So there are a few um, kind of rules that come with doing this test in terms of uh, what you should do. You shouldn't drink excessive water. The urine, urine shouldn't be white or clear uh, or overly dark. Uh, just try to drink a normal amount of water and, and that should be fine. Uh, typically, um, you wanna fast overnight. If you're collecting the cheek swab, uh, that you don't use any kind of mouthwash or anything just prior to doing that. In the morning of the collection, uh, you don't want to use uh, any mouthwash, you don't want to eat or drink anything other than water before the collection. And uh, the urine you want to do and the blood spots uh, immediately after waking up in the morning. Okay. Typically your naturopathic doctor will give you directions as to what supplements you should take and what you shouldn't take. But as a general rule of thumb, I would say about three to four days prior to the test, you're going to avoid stop taking any non-essential medications or non-essential uh, vitamins or supplements as prescribed by your doctor. One last thing. So when you finally have this all together and it's all packed up and ready to go, you do have to send it on a Monday or Tuesday morning. So just remember that when you're doing the urine collection uh, and the blood spot collection, etc. Most people do it on a Sunday. Some people do it on a Saturday and then ship it on the Monday morning or Tuesday morning. Now, this has to go by FedEx. You can phone FedEx to pick up. It's sometimes less reliable, depending on time of year and weather. Uh, I would drop it off at uh, FedEx, which is at uh, Sargent Avenue at Dead Ends by the airport in Winnipeg. There are some collection depots in some of the towns like Steinbach, uh, et cetera, usually in Staples locations. Again, I would say it's less reliable, but if it is your only choice, then, uh, then those are available as well.